It's interesting to see some more progressive Muslims attempting to reconcile the theory of evolution with Quran and Sunnah. The clip that follows is by Suhaila Smith, who runs a YouTube channel called Rise of Truth, where she has a whole series on the subject of human evolution. I have long said that classical mainstream Islam, particularly literalist Salafi views, are simply no longer defensible in this day and age. Muslims have a choice to either retreat into a time capsule, close their eyes and block their ears, or to change and evolve their understanding of the Islamic texts. The fact is, Islam is changing and evolving, just as Christianity has evolved for most ordinary Christians. Of course the danger is that this will undermine Islam, and the more traditional sheikhs and imams never tire of warning against watering down Islam. But honestly, I think that a huge number of Muslims privately have already moved away from mainstream classical views. But for many, like myself, this process of adapting Islam to suit modern theories and evidence felt dishonest. It's as though we were making Islam suit our own desires rather than accepting it as it is. And once you start dismantling Islam like this, where do you stop? There are some theologians, religious leaders, and their followers who vehemently deny that evolution exists. Why do they reject it? The ultimate reason for their rejecting evolution is because it conflicts with the beliefs they have, the beliefs they've established based on their interpretation of the religious scripture, or their interpretation that they believe to be correct. If this interpretation had not been established or upheld by them, then one has to wonder, would they reject the theory of evolution at all if they didn't adhere to their interpretation? What about the scientific perspective? Well, the theory of evolution is a scientific theory, and it's based on the scientific method that minimizes bias because humans, no matter how well-intentioned they are, will introduce bias or error, and the scientific method works to eliminate it as much as possible and to correct for that. The scientific method doesn't care about whether you want the hypothesis to be valid or not. It doesn't care how much you want to believe it will be true. It's kind of unrelenting that way. In the case of the theory of evolution, there's much evidence that has accumulated to support it. It's just undeniable. There's fossil evidence, evidence from comparative anatomy, and more recently, genetic evidence that clearly points to a common origin for all organisms, including humans. The evidence is seriously, it's just massive. It all points in the direction of evolution from a common origin. In fact, it's the only theory that is taught in established universities throughout the world to explain life on Earth. So the question then for those who deny evolution or insist that evolution is false would be, do you have an alternative theory to explain all of the life forms that exist on this Earth that has even a shred of evidence consistent with what we find today? And this leads us to a very fundamental and very important question for those who believe in the existence of a God. This is the question I have for you. Are you saying that God is trying to trick us?